what is up guys um I'm about to make a, a second vlog here for the Gophers um, after a disappointing loss to Northwestern to go to 3-3 three and three in conference play. Just thought I'd give my thoughts on the Big Ten season so far and what I think of the Gophers moving forward. All right, I'm just going to check the final real quick. I forgot. All right, 55-48. All right. We'll start with tonight's game. Um... Play Northwestern on the road in Evanston. Um, sloppy, sloppy game. Just really ugly. Both teams were just, just a really, really sloppy game. Um, first half um, started out pretty good. I think we started out like four or seven from three. Ended up going five of eighteen. I think was was the final number I heard after Andre hit a late three to cut it to four. Um. Austin Hollins fouls out with about 12 minutes left in the game, which is another bad thing. 1-3-1 one, one zone. Wow, we are terrible against that thing. I don't know what it is about going to Evanston, Illinois, but we can sure not win there. Um, but just, um, just uh, I thought it was pretty embarrassing, actually. I thought we played terrible. My the worst game I've seen us play all year. Um, the one thing I, I thought this team really had was heart, and I just didn't see it tonight. I, I saw us just rattled, so no confidence in Andre, no confidence in Rodney. Joe was out of control. Um, the shots just weren't falling. Um, Trevor, I thought Trevor played well, considering... But uh, free throw shooting continues to be a struggle for this team. But anyway, I haven't made one since Big Ten. I haven't made a vlog since Big Ten season started, so I'm going to go through and quick recap the season, the Big Ten season. Um, actually, I had a chance to go to the Michigan State game. Um, wow, what a crazy atmosphere it was for the Big Ten opener on New Year's Eve. Barn was rocking. Great atmosphere. Everybody was um, had really high hopes. Um, came out in the first half, really played really well. The energy really matched the enthusiasm of the crowd. I know in the first, uh, we got a trap and a steal, and Rodney threw down a dunk early on in the game, and it was that was the most electric I've ever seen the barn, and I've been to quite a few games. My, my parents were season ticket holders when I was younger, and I've been, I go to four or five games a year, every year since I was 15 years old, and I've gone. And that's the loudest I've heard that place. And um, it's really fun to be there. And um, boy, I wish I could find out where that team went. Um, so we won that game, I think, by like 9 or 13 or something something like that. I don't remember the final exactly, but we really played pretty well except for a, a little stretch in the second half. Um, I ended up winning that game, beat Michigan State. Um Second game was another really ugly game against Northwestern. Um, first half score, 17-14, turnover, turnover, turnovers. Um, trying to think of what else happened. Now we come back, Austin Hollins hits five consecutive threes in the second half. Um, so that really got us going. Second half ended up scoring about 52 points. I think the second half ended up 69-55, I think was the final. Um, but once again, turnovers were the issue in that game as well. And then, so we're 2-0 and conference play. We're 14-1 and going into Illinois, and I thought, okay, it might be time where reality hits. So we got to play a road game, and we never play well in Champaign. Go in there and absolutely just dominate Illinois. Just dominated them. And now, Illinois is overrated, but for a team who struggles there and – for a team who, other than Michigan State and Duke, has not played a legit contender, I thought it would be a great test. And we passed with flying colors at that point. Um, Andre had a great game. He had a half-court shot at the end of the shot clock, which was funny. Um, Rodney played pretty well. Joe Coleman, his best game um, of his young golfer's career so far, um, 29 points. Um, just an all-around great effort, and I thought it was definitely the best game that this team has played 
all th- like all forty minutes of a full game is they played pretty damn well, and um, so that was great to see. And we ended up going fifteen and one, three and zero, oh, beat them by seventeen. Um, and now we are in our three game losing streak. Um, started off with Indiana on the road, which no question, Indiana is a very very uh, tough team, and uh, it was a tough it was a tough one. Got down 20, 21, 20, I think it was 21 or 23 at halftime. The crowd was rocking for them. And, I th- and for all intents and purposes, I haven't, personally, I don't usually turn Gopher games off. I am pretty obsessed with the Gophers. I watch games all the way through from start to finish, every game. I don't think I've missed a game that I've been able to watch that hasn't been like the. I did miss the um, first half of the Stanford game because I couldn't get it on my TV because I didn't have direct TV. But other than that, if it's on ESPN3, Big Ten Digital, I get them all. I watch them all. And um, I was I was going to turn that game off. That game that game blew my mind. It was just – it hurt a lot because until then we had not been dominated like that. Even the Duke game, we were not dominated like that. Um in the second half, I don't know, final 12 minutes, we really played extremely well, and we came back and made it a one-possession game. And if Trevor gets a rebound late in the game with about 30 seconds left, we have a chance to tie that game up and send that game in overtime in Bloomington. It had it had 1996-1997 all over it. All we needed was Sam Jacobson. But unfortunately couldn't pull that one out. When we come back home with Michigan, I thought absolutely laid an egg. And uh, – Tubby questioned the effort. Um, I think I, I would say the same. I don't think the effort was fully there. Um, we came out, came out, matched them early, and I think, I think they just wore on us. I don't, know. I can't really turnovers again. Andre picked up two early fouls, which was huge because Maverick Hamisi comes in and ah. Uh, Eventually turns the ball over on three consecutive possessions, and I actually read an article from uh, the article from from the barn, and um, Jonathan Foster, I think is his name. Um, I follow him on Twitter and stuff, and he put out a an article about our turnover issues. And I guess Maverick Ahamisi turns the ball over once every three possessions or something like that, like 33 percent of the time, which is outrageous. And we lead the Big Ten in turnovers, which is our major issue. And now free throw shooting. And once again, second half, we do come back. We make it a game. And if we hit free throws down the stretch, we make that a lot closer than it ended up being. Maybe have a chance to pull that one out. So we have some very major issues we need to get fixed in a hurry. And um, I'll talk about tonight's game a little bit. Um, free throw shooting and, and turnovers against again. They went to the 1 3 1. Give the Northwestern some credit. They were switching up defense as well. Um, we just could not hang on the ball. So, basically, what I got is Andre. And Andre, from what I see, Andre Hollins is the most important person on this team because in stretches where he's out, this team has no. They're not fluid at all in offense. They don't have a leader on the floor. I don't know what Trevor. I don't. Trevor played extremely well tonight. Not going to take that away from me at 14 and 16, but he doesn't seem. I don't know why his energy. I don't know why his energy doesn't translate to the other players. Rodney, when he gets excited, I think that translates more to our players. I don't know why that is. I don't know if our team has lost faith in Trevor with all the off-the-court issues, but when he's screaming, pounding his chest, you know, getting and ones, I don't see the energy from the other guys. I don't know what's, I don't know what the team chemistry is like on that team. Us losing will do that to you. We'll make you question things, but. Um, then we got to definitely figure out our turnover situation. or And free throws, I think we went 7 for 17 from the line, which is absolutely god-awful. Um, so I don't know what to think of this team. I had them had them about 4th or 5th, I think, in our first blog. And, now, and then I went up as high as I thought we could be second in this conference. I didn't think Indiana – I think Indiana is overrated. I think – we play them not ten times. I think we can beat them six or seven times. I think we can beat them in a series of ten or something. But now I just don't know. I just don't know where the we have no consistency whatsoever on offense. 
Dre is either on or off. Austin has becoming more consistent, but I don't know where he was tonight. Um, Welch, I don't know. Our bench is is we're just not as deep as everybody thought. We we play ten deep, which is a which is a flaw in my opinion. I think Tubby Smith is not the coach we were hoping for. I would actually hope he takes this USC job. Um, I love the name, but um, I don't think he's a great in-game manager. Of He has preset substitutions. He does the same thing every game. He does not make the adjustments I thought he would. But all things considered, I still think our squad is all right. Um, I think we'll be all right. We got a tough game against Wisconsin. That's a must win now. We cannot go three and four in conference. We need to win that game. And then we have two straight at home against Iowa and Nebraska. And then I think on the road, Michigan State and at home, Illinois. You got to win four out of your next five. Either It's either you got to win at Wisconsin and win your home games or you got to win at Michigan State and win your home games. So four and five will put us at uh, at uh, seven and four, which is all right. And that will put us overall at uh, – um, 19 and 19 and 19 and six, 19 and five, something like that. So by that time we'll be back in the, we won't be. I think we're officially probably tonight we we're probably eliminated from the Big Ten championship race for regular season. Because I don't see us losing only one more game the rest of the year. Because you probably got to go 14 and four to get that title. I think we're more of a 12 and six team now, which will make us. 12 and 6, we went, so we're 15 and 1 at 3 and 0. That means 24 and 24 and 7 about, which is good. You won a couple in the Big Ten tournament, you can still get up to that 3 seed, which I hope to be at a 3 seed. Because Joel Lenardi with that bracket he had us in was a very favorable bracket, except for Zaga. So, basically, we need to cut the turnovers, improve the free throw shooting. And I think we should, I think we need to press. We need to force Temple because um, this team can't play half court basketball. I'm sorry. I'm I will say it. They cannot consistently win playing half court basketball. You might be able to beat like the Purdue's, the Nebraska's, the Iowa's, maybe not even Iowa, but um, Penn State's. You might be able to beat them playing half court ball, but you're not. We're not going to beat top tier teams in this conference playing half court basketball. We need to force Temple. That means press. That means leak out. I need Mbakwe. If he gets a rebound, we're out letting in Dre. We have three guards that can take the ball up the floor. Joe Austin and Andre can all take the ball, and we just need to get out. We need to run. We score when we play transition basketball. That we are a very we are a top ten team. We are easily a top ten team when we play our game. We need to force Temple. I cannot stress that enough. If we force Temple, good things are going to happen. We're going to get steals. We're going to trap. We're going to get out and run. We're going to get open shots. We're going to get slam dunks. We need to use our athleticism and get out and run. Because, as you saw tonight, if we get stagnant in that half-court offense, especially against a zone, we just do not have the shooters, especially when Austin Hollins or one of the Hollins is not on the floor. We do not have the shooters to to get anything going when we can't get the ball inside. So, so if we cut the turnovers – improve the free throw shooting and get out and, and transition. I think this team's going to be all right, but uh, we definitely need to take a look in the mirror and figure out what we're doing wrong. Um, so, yeah, um, big game on Saturday. Hopefully we get a get a W, get back on track against the, against Becky Badger. You know, um, buck the Fadgers, you know what I'm saying? So um, it's going to be a tough game. Cole Center is always a tough place to play. Um, and I appreciate you guys' support. I had about a, I had almost 100 views, which is pretty good because didn't tell really anyone I was going to have this video. So I appreciate you guys at least giving it a shot. Um, I know it's kind of random, it's just some random guy doing vlogs on the Gophers, but um, if you guys check it out, I do appreciate it. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.